speed isn't your goal, but your byproduct, then the ultimate driver could be you. Good morning. How y'all doing?
see how that looks from the inside. So I'm gonna take this hill in a X5. Check out some of the X drive capabilities. And I've seen them stop up there. And they come down. After that, we head over there, drive an X7, maybe an 8. Depending how long the line is, I'll just drive them all. Mwahaha. Automatic parking. Right? Just select this button right here. Right. You decide you want to park you know, you're on the street, you see some parking spots, you want to turn left on the street or right on whatever. Right. You know, you want to you're looking ahead and you're like, okay, I want to park. So you select your parking button right there, right. get it ready to go. This screen has to be up, that automatic parking has to be selected that box right there mm -hmm. and basically the first thing it does as you drive down the street it does what you do which it's is scary. look to see whether the space is big enough it's scanning and measuring the spaces so there right there we just passed that space it said it's okay but I want this one so again you can choose which one you want and it's just going to measure this one as well when we drive by it and when it presents the, the spot as parallel all you have to do is select that the blinker goes on immediately for the right hand say okay saying that you're responsible for everything that happens my foot comes off the brake off the gas and now it does the entire maneuver by itself nice. how reliable does it function hmm? how reliable does it function reliable yeah 100 percent reliable i've been doing this for yeah. many 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 times now it will <clears throat> sometimes it doesn't complete because mm -hmm. something is you know, something has stopped it from working, yep. but it never, I've never hit anything. So reliable from that perspective. Mm -hmm. um, will, you know, will it be, like I said, will, sometimes it'll, there'll be a, um, you know, if the sun is at a certain angle or yep. if the sensors are a little dirty, there are things that, you know, it's not, the technology is there, mm -hmm. there's still physical things that you have to get around, yep. right? Um, so from that perspective, it's, you know, it's not completed, but for, for but for explainable reasons. But it's never hit anything. I've never <coughs> had that, that problem at all. All right, so if you use this system to get in, you can also use it to get out. You put your, you turn the car off, get out, come back in, turn yeah. it on. Um, foot on the brake, automatic park, and then you just select your exit there. And so what it does is it, it doesn't pull out of the space and drive down the street. It's not an autonomous you know, mm. car. Um, it just positions you so that you can pull out of the space. Okay. So it's going to, the last thing it does is it pulls back, it has the distance that it wants, and then it turns the wheel fully to the left. So you can go. Yeah, and then that chime tells you that it's finished. It's in drive, mm -hmm. so it's holding in drive, ready for you simply to touch the gas pedal. Mm -hmm. No brake, no changing mm -hmm. gears, just touch the gas pedal. Okay. So that's the parallel park. Now we have perpendicular so we select again our automatic parking mm. and it will so it will then measure these backup spots. Oh there we go. So now before it was positioned like this, now the box is like this, telling you that it's a perpendicular space. It's detected automatically? It did. Well I turned you know we had the system on. Yeah once right. the system is on it's constantly going to be so, um, measuring spaces. So it doesn't matter if it's like <coughs> parallel or perpendicular. It will measure it and it will decide which one to fit. it will fit. Yeah. Sometimes we'll see two boxes together like this, mm -hmm. and that just means that the space is available to park either either way. Okay. And then you can select which one you want. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. So it'll want to um, sp uh, center in the parallel spot, mm -hmm. uh, sorry, the perpendicular spot as much as it can. It gives you enough room to open up the doors. Yeah. Maybe not all the way, yeah. but a minimum amount so that you can at least get out, yeah. depending upon the space. If there's a wider space, maybe you do open the doors all the way. Okay. All right, let's do the hill now that we have clear run on the hill. here okay guys we're gonna drive up this hill there's no systems or features involved with this it's just me driving up the hill and um, getting on the gas getting on the brake and just driving up the hill as best we can here center as much as we can All right, right to there okay so I'm on the brakes I stopped the car here what we're looking for is that button it's the hill descent mode Okay, so the descent is what we're showing in terms of the feature, which allows us to then take this toggle switch and move our uh, our preset of the speed that we want to take yep. carry down the hill. Okay, maximum of 20 miles an hour. 
minimum and default of two miles an hour. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to keep it at two, take my foot off the brake, mm -hmm. and it just holds the speed smooth, constant, controlled at two miles an hour like I've asked it. It's okay. crazy. Okay. Guys, here's uh, our backup assistant as well. Oh. So backup right now is already recording. At, whenever we're in drive, it's recording the steering wheel. So everything that I'm doing with the wheel right now is recording and it's going to put into memory. Not the speed, right? Not my braking, just the path. The steer, just the path that I take with the wheel. Exactly. Just the, the every movement that I make with the wheel. Okay. So let's say you stop into a parking garage or a parking lot or you know whatever, and now you have to back out, and it's and it's something that you can't do a U turn. You have to back all the way out. So turn the car off, get out, come back the next day or the next week or the next month. The past, the most recent 164 feet is still in memory that you can recall by putting the car in reverse. Select the backup assistant. There's the 164 feet. Foot off the brake. Get the car started in reverse. Put my foot back on the brake just to, so I can hold the speed at about three miles an hour. Two, three, four miles an hour in that range is good. Three is a good solid number. Four, a little bit quicker, but anyway, the smooth, the soft, um, slower you go, the more precise the line. Right? Yeah. So yeah, just doing exactly the, menu, the the path you took in, uh, going out. Now you have to stop if something. If there's an obstacle or mm -hmm. something gets in the way, and this also assumes that the path hasn't changed, right? You right. can't all of a sudden have a car parked where it wasn't before. Um, you have to drive around that. Right. Yeah, it will not find its way around an obstacle that, it, that wasn't there before. Okay. So all the way down, 22, 10. It's going to go all the way down to zero. And again, that's the wheel. Um, and if you have more room and you need to keep going backwards, then you just at the zero, you take over the wheel, and you can actually continue to go as far as you need with steering. The reverse part is not part of the recall. Right. Mm -hmm. It's just the steering wheel that's yeah. being recalled. Okay. So you also can preset like a certain speed, like speed maximum, like for the hill descent control? Uh, gas pedal. Right. It's, it's braking gas. So the re when you put it in reverse, mm -hmm. it's just like being in reverse. Right. I mean, it's physically in reverse. So right. I can go you know, right. on the gas as hard as I want. Right. right. But the car doesn't control the speed when the reversing. I, okay. I'm doing the, yeah, mm -hmm. it's just the steering wheel. That's the only thing that's being recalled and being replayed automatically. When it gets to zero, it's the steering wheel that's zero. Now, having said that, you can't just go as fast as you want because remember I said before, I like to, you want to keep it at about two, three to four miles an hour. Yeah. Because if you go any faster, when it starts to turn, it's going to whip, yeah. right? Too much. And then it will go off course. Right. And, and in fact, when you reach five miles an hour, if you let it get to five miles an hour, yeah. the system actually says slow down. Okay. It'll tell you to slow down at five. When you exceed five, you go to six, it shuts it off. So it, it won't yeah. handle it after five miles an hour because it's just too much you know, whipping. Okay. What did I do? Let's go. Car. Hmm. Oh, 
don't like purple. We like bronze. The black interior. Oh, that was green. Mm. Drives really good. Oh, I didn't notice this one. Another speaker right above your head. That's great. In the back. Oh, also perfect. And you have third seat rows. Look at that. They have their own moonroof. It's a big car. It's fun though. It's like sitting here. It's okay. My own arm messed up. Okay. There you go. And we also have close the sunshade. So the peasants don't see you. Like this one, look at him. Now you can see me, now you can see me. Oh, and outside we see a, a X7 on the hill. Is it? It's an X5. It's an X. No, it's an X5. So I'm wearing this hat because I want it for being fast on the track, right? And now this Johnny got one too because he just we talked Sam. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. <laughs> So now I'm in the M850 Grand Coupe and even though it is hard to get in into the back seat, you have plenty of space. I mean I'm not the tallest, right? For the 5'8. And I'm sitting behind myself, which I'm not the tallest. But I can sit like a human being. Mainly because of these humps in the roof line. You can sit here and actually go for a drive. It's so actually usable for seater convertible. Not convertible, coupe. Sorry. Coupe. Almost. Backseat. Look at that, you have fluffy soft carpet. Mmm, nom 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 dirty. This is not a bad, it can actually be washed, it's leather. Look at that. It's a door handle. Integrated nicely, I never noticed that. That's pretty sweet. This is nice, actual aluminum. We don't know what smokes anymore these days. Interior accent lights. Wow, nice space. Uncomfortable. What do you have in here? Oh, the table. Really sweet. Yeah, I'm busy. I have to work. Darkness. It's a pass through or the fridge optional, which this one doesn't have a fridge. A really nice place to be, I'm telling you. Um, and I just noticed that this actually is the facelift design of the G1 of the 7 series, but the interior, as you can see, is still the pre facelift version. Hmm, I wonder why. Driving is. It was pretty good. I didn't punch this one up. So, this is the, we can't see it anymore in the picture, but in the front of us is the 440 convertible, which we just drove in. And I drove and I was not giving it beans, like he, he's very like, by now we like full throttle or full gas. <laughs> I didn't really do that, because it's a convertible, the weather is nice, you can enjoy it a little bit. 240, M240, and it's right inside. Over right here, key. Okay. gonna take this tour quite some time. That's a car number two. This is a nice view here. Nice entrance. And 
the Sander Anita Park horse racing racetrack. Duh. Oh, we cannot do, turn off the traction. So um, sport plus. You, well, Sport Plus doesn't turn off traction control. It just puts it into DCT, DCT. but it is sport setting, so it lets you slide a little bit, but still controlled. Yeah. So it gives you more, a little bit moved. 745E, first time I see that thing on the road. <laughs> and he gives it beans. <laughs> Up there, we can't probably see it, it's the horse track. This is the route we take. You can see this is the horse race track. Um, all this around here is parking lot and one of them or two of them have been modified to be a racetrack for autocross today. Right. Which was fun and I won and Tom too. We tie. Can you imagine it's the 22nd round, we both did 20.12 seconds. Two of us clowns at the same time, it's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> this is Z4. This car is a cruising car. Yeah, it's a 7 series. If you want to be comfortable, it has all, of course, these are all fully equipped. Massage seats on, ventilated seats on, max power, heated steering wheel on. And yeah, we have Bowers and Wilkins. We have tons of space in the back. And cool the level. This looks really nice. Yeah, it moves. Moves plenty enough. So, you shall be comfortable. Just waft along, getting my butt massaged. That's reasonably quick. Oh, so, here we go. X7. Of course, it's all fully equipped. AC seats, AC seats, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah here we go. For power. And we come back. What do you think? No seat in the bag. These cabin yeah. chairs, right? Seven nice. seats. This is a big panoramic moonroof, and there's another one in the bag. You can't see it. Man, that's like a bus. <laughs> but look at these pillows and the seats. Great. <laughs> Alcantara. Trara. So, this is yours now. Oh. Oh. So it's bounced. Sport plus. Individual. Okay. And. Did you hear how the how the valve opened? Yeah. How the sound suddenly changed. Right. Like oof, oof. oof. Let's do it again. That's reasonably fast for such a big boat, honestly. It's not bad. This is better than the set 4. I mean, it's double the engine, right? It sounds really good. The rumble is, the rumble is so far back, though. It almost down. It's in a different zip code. But you can, you can hear that the rumble is artificial. It's, in, it's pumped in here. There's not actual exhaust. Yeah, it's, it's too far back. You get used to this really good crisp sound, right? right? And 
then when I was driving other X fighters, they only had the Harman Kardon, Harman -Kardon like the, now, the, the yeah. medium one, right? No, nowhere anywhere close. It's yep. so different. That's true. I could not take it. You could hear really not how bad it was, but how it was not as good as a PO system. M50. 8M50 doesn't make sense. M850. <laughs> this is a 4.4 liter V8 with plenty of power. Wow. Handing it over to you. Closing yes. the windows. And don't shit your pants. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> This one pulls. <laughs> yep. You know what, what? What's the torque? I don't know. I don't care. Plenty. It's moving. It's good. Sit in the back, look behind me. I'm sitting fine. How much space is there behind me? Yeah. Still. Would you want to sit there? No. See? We need just to put stuff there. Behind you, there's this much space. It feels like a really big car. Yeah. Yeah. So this is a really nice GT. This is. Yep. The smaller version of the 7 series to drive coast to coast. The 850 behind myself, right? My feet fit under the seat, but they are holding in place. I cannot move them. And hope that can be seen. I cannot sit up straight because I'm already with my head against it. And I'm sitting up straight like nobody else's business. Me out. Just scraping all my shoes. Wow. You can see that scraped it. Anyway, that's not a place to be. Short and then that's it. Then that has been it. Okay, that's it. It's been a day of fun on a parking lot and around a parking lot. I can't stop it. <laughs> Taking how many laps did we take? Just two laps, right? Two laps practice on the autocross parkour and then one timed lap. But yeah, I won. Yeah, yeah. It was fun, BMW. Thank you. I'll be glad to come again next year.